Former IAS officer Sasikan Sendil clinched the Tiruvallur Lok Sabha seat. In Tamil Nadu on a Congress ticket, defeating BJP's Ponbala Ganapati by a jaw-dropping margin of 5,72,165 votes, the highest in the state of Tamil Nadu. Sendil's political journey, which began with his dramatic resignation in 2019 over the abrogation of Article 370, has now hit a significant milestone. But wait, does this story remind you of anyone? Ah, yes, K. Anamalai, another bureaucrat turned politician, also made his Lok Sabha electoral debut recently. The Lok Sabha elections, however, painted a starkly different picture of these two. Let's take a look. In Coimbatore, DMK's Ganpati Rajkumar defeated BJP's K. Anamalai with a margin of more than 1 lakh pushing the AIA DMK to a third position. Let's now talk about Tiruvallur. Congress's Sasi Kumar Sendil defeated BJP's Pon Balaganapati by a margin of more than 5 lakh votes. Anamalai, the ex-IPS officer, contested from Coimbatore on a BJP ticket and was handed a defeat by over 1 lakh votes. While Sendil basked in victory, Anamalai was left to find grace in his defeat. But despite these differences in their current Lok Sabha performance, Sendil and Anamalai share several similarities. Sasikant Sendil and K. Anamalai both served as high-ranking officers in Karnataka. Sendil as a 2009 batch IAS officer and Anamalai as a 2011 batch IPS officer. Their careers intersected in the same districts, perhaps an early professional synergy despite differing roles. Second, both made headlines in 2019 when they resigned from their services around the same time. However, the reasons were markedly different. Sendil resigned dramatically, citing deep concerns about the state of democracy and protesting against the abrogation of Article 370. In contrast, Anamalai resigned for personal reasons. Number 3. The BJP appointed Anamalai as a co-in-charge for the Karnataka Assembly elections a strategic move aimed at attracting the Tamil-speaking votes in key areas like Bengaluru, Kolar and Chamrajnagra. His role was pivotal in trying to expand the party's influence in Karnataka, leveraging his familiarity with the state, its dynamics and the language. Meanwhile, Sasikant Sendil played an equally significant role, but from the opposite side of the spectrum. Sendil managed the Congress party's coordination and led a 40-member team that handled both online and offline social media campaigns during the 2023 Karnataka Assembly elections. Alongside poll strategist Sunil Kanugol, Sendil's efforts were instrumental in steering the Congress to a resounding victory against the Baswaraj Bombay-led BJP government. So both these leaders were part of the Karnataka Assembly elections in May 2023. Despite the similarities, it's their differences that are more pronounced. Sendil is soft-spoken and maintains a rather low profile, the antithesis of Anamalai's loud confrontational style. Sendil's political journey is deeply rooted in his commitment to democratic values, prompting his resignation and entry into politics. His Twitter bio reads, resigned from the IAS in protest, trying to stay on the right side of history. It encapsulates his principal stance. Anamalai, often referred to as the blue-eyed boy of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, has become a polarizing figure in Tamil Nadu politics. His aggressive tactics and media-savvy persona have brought him considerable at attention despite the lack of immediate electoral success. He may have made enemy of the media in Tamil Nadu, but he remains a darling of the national media. This is a battle between two ideologies, not merely between an IPS and an IAS officer. Two ideologies at opposite ends of a spectrum are clashing. One represents the idea of India embodied by the Congress, while the other represents everything that goes against the essence of India as embodied by the BJP, said Sentil. Let's now talk about their political performances so far. After joining the Congress in 2020, Sendil quickly rose to prominence within the party, contributing to its strategy and success in various elections, uh, for example in Karnataka and Rajasthan. His efforts were particularly noted during the 2023 Karnataka Assembly elections, where the Congress achieved a decisive victory. Sendil's role as chairman of the Central War Room for the Rajasthan polls, despite the BJP winning, also cements his reputation as a key strategist. His journey went from an IAS officer to an activist and now to an MP. Annamalai's transition to politics saw a rapid rise within the BJP. Appointed as a state unit chief within 10 months of joining the party, 
He brought a new level of aggression and visibility to the BJP in Tamil Nadu like never before. Although he has yet to secure an electoral victory, his leadership has significantly boosted the party's profile. For the first time, achieving a double-digit vote share without major Dravidian alliances. Anomalous polarizing style and relentless engagement have kept the BJP in the spotlight in a predominantly Dravidian political landscape. While both Sendil and Anamalai share a bureaucratic background, their political journeys and ideologies could not be more different. I should also mention that there are a lot of similarities between Anamalai and his opponent Singai Ramchandran of the AIADMK. Both are alumni of the PSG College of Technology, the premier engineering college in Coimbatore. While Anamalai did his bachelor's in mechanical engineering, his junior Ramchandran graduated in electronics engineering. Both are products of IIM campuses. While Anamalai went to IIM Lucknow, Ramchandran passed out of IIM Ahmedabad. While entrepreneur Ramchandran went on to head the IT wing of the AIADMK, Anamalai cracked the UPSC and became an IPS officer of the 2011 batch in Karnataka cadre. Who do you think will have more impact on the Tamil Nadu political landscape? Anamalai or Sendil? Comment below and let us know. I'm Deepthi Rao. You are watching India Today. So, sir.